With the Mavic, you can fly even without the remote controller. Your phone gives you all the control you need to fly and can even activate intelligent flight modes. To start, make sure the Mavic is switched off. Open the protective cover on the right-hand side and flick the switch to Wi-Fi mode, then turn it on. The first time you use your phone to fly, you will need to bind your Mavic with your phone. Android users can use the QR code scanner in DJI GO to scan the QR code placed on the front arms of the Mavic. Your phone will instantly learn the Mavic's network password and SSID number. If you are an iOS user or cannot use the QR code for any reason, go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings and look for the network named Mavic, followed by a string of numbers. These numbers will vary depending on your unit. Tap to connect and enter the password below the QR code sticker when prompted. Once connected, turn on DJI GO and go to the camera section. Tap the auto takeoff icon to get airborne. The Mavic will rise to a hover and wait for your command. Turn on the virtual joysticks by tapping the icon in the bottom left corner of your screen that looks like the four points of a compass. Once on, hold your left thumb on the left side of the screen to bring up the left virtual controller. Hold your right thumb on the right side of the screen to bring up the right virtual controller. Then fly just like you normally would using a joystick. Up goes higher, down goes lower, and left and right turn the Mavic left and right. Slide up to fly forward and down to fly back and left and right to fly in those directions. Let go with your thumbs and use the bar on the right of your screen to control gimbal pitch. To use intelligent flight modes, turn off virtual joysticks, then tap the intelligent flight modes icon. Select the mode you want to use and mark your subject just like you would if you were using your controller. When you're done flying, just tap auto landing and the Mavic will come back home to land by your feet.